about an hour ago, I was cleaning up and I started to feel like someone was behind me. And I looked behind me and there was no one there. But at the same time, I was feeling a demonic presence as well. Perhaps this has been happening to you as well. When you are trying to listen to Christian music, when you are trying to do things of God, you may feel this very strong demonic presence in your area, your room, or wherever you are at, trying to intimidate you to stop you from doing what you are doing for God or whatever else. But anyways, I was beginning to pray and I started to feel like someone was behind me and I'm thinking, no one should be behind me. So I looked behind me and I did not see anyone there. So I was thinking, okay, it is demons trying to intimidate me. So what I did, I believe I repented. I repent even when I believe that I have done nothing wrong. So before you pray, I always teach repent of your sins even if you believe that you have done nothing wrong. So you repent, then pray. So what I did, because I still felt that evil presence, which I really don't feel that often, but the day prior, I was praying really hard. So I believe that demon was trying to intimidate me to stop praying. <laughs> Anyways, so I repented and I was like, demons, what did I say? I bind and cast you out, spirit of fear. And I bind and cast you out, spirit of intimidation. And I continued to say that, I believe three or more times. Then after a minute or so, I did not feel any fear and I did not feel any intimidation. So when you feel fear, that is the spirit of fear placing you in fear. So what you should do is repent of your sins, verbally say, I bind and cast you out, spirit of fear. Say it with me. I bind and cast you out, spirit of fear. I bind and cast you out, spirit of intimidation. I bind and cast you out, spirit of intimidation. When you feel intimidated, when you feel fear, bind and cast out those demons. And within a minute or so, I did not feel those demons. I did not feel that intimidating evil presence as if someone was behind me and was going to run up and attack me or something like that. You have to know when you live for God, you have angels, guardian angels defending you. You may not see them, but it does not mean that they aren't there. I don't know if I should tell you about this. Maybe in another video, probably. But even if you don't see your guardian angels, they are there. 
So when you feel that fear or whatever else, you are protected. Just cast out those demonic spirits that are trying to place you in fear. And like I said, the day, the day prior I was praying, I believe I prayed for over three hours, not all at one time, but one and a half hours at one time, then throughout the day, three hours. So, guess what? <laughs> I am going to pray some more. So, stay in prayer, bind and cast out those demons of fear and intimidation. Don't stop praying. Don't stop listening to those teachings about God because you feel fear or intimidation. I pray that this makes sense. God bless.